Hello everyone. In this video, we will have a look at how you can synchronize LiveWire variables with the browser's local storage. You could use this functionality to preserve the state of a LiveWire component when a user refreshes the page or navigates somewhere else and comes back later. The scenario we will be exploring in this video will be a user navigating to a detail page from this data table and then returning to this page. It can be really annoying if you are working your way through a list and every time you come back you have to manually reapply all your settings. So when the user comes back to our data table, we want to reload the last state of the component. I've already built this very basic data table that has search functionality. You can filter on whether a project is active or not and it has pagination. Let me give you a quick overview of the code. So it's just one LiveWare component, and this is the view. So we have an input for our search functionality. We have a checkbox for our active filter, and we render all of the project rows into a table, and this is our pagination. Let's have a look at the LiveWare component over here. So the state we have on this component is the search attribute, the active attribute, and the pagination which lives inside this trait. Based on these settings, we then fetch the relevant projects from the database. So here we filter by the search value and we filter by the active state and paginate with five projects per page. So how are we going to make sure that the state of this component gets persisted? You could solve this in different ways, but the approach we will take is to store the state of the LiveWare component in local storage. This solution requires two steps. First, we make sure the variables are synced between LiveWare and Alpine, and then we sync the state between Alpine and local storage. Let's start by syncing the LiveWire variables we want to persist between Alpine and LiveWire. That's actually very simple, because LiveWire has the Entangle directive, which does just that. So let's create an Alpine component that we can use to sync our LiveWire variables to. It doesn't really matter where you put it, as long as it's somewhere inside the LiveWire component. So we'll create our Alpine component, and we'll sync the three variables we want to persist. So let's search, and we'll tangle it, and then we also need page and active. That should be all we have to do to sync the state between LiveWire and Alpine. Let's have a look here and see if it works. So we'll open up the DevTools and use the Alpine plugin. And here we can see that the page is now synced. And if we start typing, that also gets synced and the active state also gets synced. And it's two way. So you can now also change the state from Alpine and that should update the LiveWare components. So that's great. So the second step is to now sync these variables with local storage. This step is actually also very simple because Alpine has the persist plugin, which does exactly what we need. It syncs Alpine variables with local storage. To install the persist plugin, make sure you add the required script tag to your layout or install it with NPM. I'm using a CDN here. To use persist, we now only have to wrap the data we want to sync with local storage within the persist function. So let's jump back into the code and wrap these entangle directives with persist. So you just call persist like this. And that should do the trick. So let's head over back to our data table and have a look in local storage. Local storage, and then I'll just kill all these variables for now. Refresh the page, 
and now you can see they get inserted back into local storage and when we start typing so now we get PHP in local storage we get our active setting in local storage and our pagination should also be there but I need to have more than one page to show you so let's go to the next page and yes we now also have page 2 over here so let's now have a look if we can navigate to a different page and come back here and see if all the state gets reapplied in the background I've made a few more of these JS projects active so that we can have search active and pagination at the same time we'll go to a project details page and then we'll come back and now you can see the search query has been restored the active state but we're not actually on the right page because we should be on page two but we're actually on page one that's because I made a mistake here in later live our versions the pagination got nested into an paginators property so you can have multiple data tables within the same live wire components so if we refresh this and go to page two and then give it another go everything should now be working and now it's correct because now we see the records six of the ten which is the second page and that's basically all you have to do now entangle persist the data between LiveWire and Alpine or Syncs I should say and persist syncs the data between Alpine and local storage so when you change the LiveWire variable the data flows from LiveWire to Alpine to local storage and when you reload the page the data flows the other way from local storage to Alpine to LiveWire That was all for today folks, I hope you learned something, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.